What a blessing it is for me to speak to you as a member of the Spiritual Advisory Committee. Since we began meeting together in October, we have been searching scriptures and praying for the members of our pastor search committee. They have been working so hard and carefully, diligently, and praying as they seek God's directions. We are all praying for our church family, our staff, for the pastor God has already chosen for us and for his family. We are also praying for our city, for, our, for the people around us who haven't met Jesus yet, as well as those who need to find a church family. We are praying for our nation and for our world. But during this time, we are also on a journey together, aren't we, as a church family. We are doing life together. A part of our journey together as a church involves our praying and then our waiting for God to answer our prayers. Waiting is hard, isn't it? Our time of waiting as a church family can be very special for us. It can be a special time because we are going to be actively waiting. What does that mean? We will be actively intentional in our prayers and our committee is asking every member of our church family to pray. Working with our wonderful staff, we will be asking everyone to pray from our preschoolers and children to our senior adults, our church family who worships with us each week online or on our broadcast. We are inviting everybody to pray together. Let's search God's word together and learn what it says about praying and then waiting on the Lord to answer. As we journey through this time of waiting, let's be active in prayer. Let's pray together with our church family, but let me encourage you to pray together in your family, in your home. What a wonderful way to teach our children to pray and how to wait on the Lord, our Jesus Christ, to answer us. So what I'd like to do is lead us today. Join me as I turn to the Psalms. Maybe you'd like to turn there with me. Psalm 33, 20 through 22. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart is glad in him because we trust his holy name. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us even as we hope in you. Now here's a way to pray this scripture with, together with your family. So if you're in your home, you could pray it this way. Dear Lord, our souls wait for you. You are our help and our shield. Our hearts are glad in you because we trust in your holy name. Let your steadfast love, Lord, be upon us even as we hope in you and wait for you to lead us to our new pastor. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.